Hello, everyone. My name is Titania Dahlin, and I am Donna Eden's daughter. If you don't know Donna Eden, she is energy medicine, holistic health pioneer. And I am also, if you know my sister, Dondi Dahlin, I'm her sister as well. So I'm so happy to be here today. And I am going to be speaking with Karen Drucker, an, a musician extraordinaire, and who she will be featured at our main event coming up this next week. It is the Energy Healing Conference, the Energy Healing Weekend on September 11th, 12th, and 13th. It's coming up this next week, and you don't want to miss it. We have 10 major classes, two hours each, and I will be telling you a little bit more about each of those classes a little later on. So you will be learning and you will be evolving and you will be listening to extraordinary music by my guest speaker today, Karen Drucker, and you will be listening to it through my own energy medicine dance, which I have been creating for the last 25 years. And most of the music I use is very positive and uplifting. And Karen Drucker is one of my main musicians. And every single time I put on her music, everybody comes up to me and is almost crying because they are in such joy and want to know who that musician is. And so I am so lucky, we are all so lucky to have Karen Drucker here today. So I wanna introduce you to Karen. Hi, hey, Karen. Hey, how are you? Nice <laughs> to see you, darling. <laughs> I'm so glad to have you here today. Oh, and I'm so glad, you. yeah, to introduce you to everybody here. So, I just want to know a little bit about your background. I want to know about how you got started in some of this feel-good music. Well, you know, it's an interesting story. Well, first of all, I have to say that of all the gigs that got canceled for this year, the conference that we were going to do in Cleveland was like my, my biggest disappointment because I love your mother. I love your mother and I love you and I love Dondi and I just, the family that you create is amazing. So I was really disappointed, but I was really thrilled when I heard that you're going to do it this way virtually, which I think is fabulous. So I'm very happy to be part of this family. And you know how I got started is really a trip because I actually was a blues singer. I mean, if I go way back, I, I grew up in Hollywood and the way I actually got into music is that uh, I, I was a babysitter, you know, like we all are at like, you know, 12, 15 years old, you know, babysitting all the kids. Well, on my street in Laurel Canyon, when I was about 15, Carol King moved in next door and I became the babysitter for her kids and that's how I got into music because I was just a competitive swimmer. That's all I was doing. And all of a sudden, Carol King comes into my life. I'm now part of her family. I'm going on the road with her, taking care of her kids. And at one point, she was remodeling her house. And she needed to store her piano somewhere. And she knew I wanted to learn about music. And I come home, and here's her piano in my bedroom. And it was supposed to just be for a few months. It wound up to be for like a year or two. And that's how I started writing songs and you know, just totally getting into music. But, but as years progressed, moved to San Francisco, and I was a blues singer. I was singing all these whiny blues songs, and my life was miserable. And I was going, well, maybe it's because of what I'm saying all day long and what I'm singing. And I eventually started writing these positive message songs, and as soon as I started doing that, my life turned around. I, I've been employed at all these different New Thought churches for years, and now I make my living, you know, I've had, I have 20 CDs out at this point. And I make my living, you know, just going around doing women's retreats and doing mind-body health conferences, speaking and singing, and hopefully trying to raise the vibration because we need it right now, don't we? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Oh, that's wonderful. I love the stories of how you got started. And I love that you were a blues singer. I think uh, me and my mother love the blues. And whenever I put on blues, I get happy. <laughs> but I could imagine you singing it and how how that could affect your emotions and your moods but well, i think no, my, one of the things say. might I mean, yeah. whatever you say over and over you know you you manifest you create it that's why <laughs> i love working with you because i love the idea that you put you're saying positive messages 
but you're dancing them too. You know, that's mm -hmm. why I love when you take my songs and you put movement to it because <laughs> when you sing it and then you put it in your body and you move it, it totally, it goes into your cells. It releases oxytocin, but even more than that, it just becomes like a new brain pattern. In your, it's like a new neuro, neuro pathway in your brain of saying something positive and you feel better. I mean, that's the bottom line. That's why I write these songs. So true. So true. I love it. I, yeah, it's, I think it's one of the reasons why your music inspires me so much. It's, it feels like my body wants to move different gestures in my body. And when I bring your music with my mother's energy medicine techniques, people understand, they get the, the, the exercises rather than thinking that it's a chore rather than thinking that, oh, I got to get up and do my energy exercises. I know it makes me feel good, but when you put on music, especially Karen Drucker's music, it makes people just feel more happy, more joyful. And the music that you use is very tuned into life's experiences, what we're all going through. And I think that's what moves a lot of people in your music. Yeah. And that's, and I always say, whenever I do a concert, I always say to people, you know, you get to see what all my issues are because that's <laughs> what I write about. You know, anything that's a, that I'm trying to affirm, you know, money is coming to me easily and es effortlessly, or I relax, let go, release and surrender. I mean, these are all things that I'm working on. So mm -hmm. the fact that I can move to it and sing it, and then I go out and I see other people singing to it. it it's just, it's great. <laughs> I love that. So, um, you have a, interesting story about carol burnett will you please <laughs> tell us about the carol burnett my right. mother is a carol burnett lover she loved her so much so i would love for you to tell that story well i this is okay i'll make it really fast then because this, this is quite a story but when i was uh so i'm so i'm a 13 year old geeky kid living in hollywood i'm straightening my hair i have acne and braces i'm just a <laughs> dweeb and I just, I held Carol Burnett like she was my mentor. She was like everything to me. I just thought if she could make it, I mean, she went to my same junior high school and high school. So she was like this, you know, model to me of what, you know, what I could be in my life. And uh, so I used to take the bus down every Friday, sit, uh, stand in line for like two hours to go to the Carol Burnett show taping. And what would happen was I, as soon as they opened the doors, I would make a beeline for the seat right in front. And I'd sit there and, you know, and eventually she, she would see me every single week. And I was wearing the same little polka dot dress that my mother made me. I mean, it was, you know, like totally pathetic. But so she, you know, she'd come out and she'd kind of wave to me and I'd be like, oh my God, we're like best friends. And one day she said, you know, you know how she did her questions and answer thing at the very beginning of her show. She, she said, well, anybody have any questions? And for some reason, I don't know how this happened. I just truly to this day don't know how it happens. But all of a sudden, I go like this. I, I raise my hand. And I'm like, oh, my God, what did I do? And I try and bring my hand down really fast. And she calls on me. She probably wanted to know who this weird, geeky kid who's stalking her is. And I, you know, and, and I, don't know, I don't know why I even did that. She calls on me, and I'm going, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And... Then I just remembered that I had won the Edgar Rice Burroughs Tarzan calling contest the week before. <laughs> so I said, I'd like to challenge you to a Tarzan calling contest. And she said, great, come on up on stage with me. So now I'm up on stage. I'm freaking out. I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God, what am I doing here? And, but all these people are smiling at me and giving me all this love and energy. I'd never been on stage before. I'm thinking, oh my God, this is heaven. And then I saw the cool girls from my school, you know, in the, like, the fifth row, row, and they're all just, like, rolling their eyes and going, oh, my God, that's Karen Drucker. She's so geeky. And they're just doing this, like, oh, we don't know her. And I just, in that moment, I felt, like, ashamed. I wanted to get out of there. But my story, the reason I love telling the story is that, like, I truly believe we have these moments where we make that decision of, like, how you're going to live your life. And in that moment, it was like I could give them the power or I could, you know, stand here in my little 13-year-old dweeby self and just claim my power. And I remember looking at the, those girls, looking at Carol Burnett, and just going, good Lord, can I do it? I don't know if I'm going to blow out your sound. <laughs> So I did my Tarzan yell, yell, and she made me the winner, and everybody applauded. And then the next day I go to school, and all the cool girls are saying, oh, Karen, you're really cool. Do you want to be in our group? And I'm like, no. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> That's my Carol Burnett story for you in a nutshell. <laughs> That's great. I love that story. All right. Well, do you, can I entice you to sing us a song? Yeah. Yay. Yay. I'll do a little bit of this. So one of the things I'll do in my concert, so my concert's going to be on that on Friday, September 11th that I want you all to come to. So we're going to do a lot of this kind of stuff. So it goes like this. Gratitude before me. And gratitude behind me. Gratitude to the left of me. Gratitude to the right of me. And gratitude above me. And gratitude below me. Gratitude within me. Gratitude all around me. And then you open up your arms and say, I'm so grateful to yourself. I'm so grateful. And you put your hands out and say, I'm so, to the people you love, and then you release, let it go. I'm so grateful. You can see it better when I'm standing up. So grateful to yourself. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Okay, you got it? Let's really do it now. Gratitude before me. Gratitude behind me. To the left. Gratitude to the left of me. To the right. Gratitude to the right of me. Above. Gratitude above me. Below. Gratitude below me. Within me. Gratitude within all around me. Gratitude all around me. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Always to yourself. I'm so grateful to the people you love. I'm so grateful. Please let it go. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. You want me to keep going? Yes. Okay. All right. So if you're if you're watching this at home, stand up. Get up and wiggle a little bit. everybody happy but I really needed to move this morning I hope you all got up and moved wasn't that fabulous thank you Karen welcome <laughs> so that's what we will do at my concert we will just we will move we'll sing we'll the whole bit 
Yay. So Karen is offering a free concert for anybody who joins the Energy Healing Weekend on September 11th, 12th, and 13th. And her concert is the first night of the concert. And so you'll want to get up and move with her in your privacy of your own bedroom. <laughs> so it's this next weekend is this healing conference. And we have over 10 speakers and each of them are about two hours long. You are going to get get just enriched with a lot of wonderful wisdom. But we are also offering 50% off of this weekend because we know that you have a lot of choices. There are a lot of choices online these days, and we decided to cut the price. Okay, so you might want to look in the chat because the links are going up as I speak of how to get to this energy healing weekend. And let me tell you about some of the people that are going to be joining Karen and me. So you will get Karen's music every day. You will get my dancing every day, but you're also going to get Jean Houston. Jean Houston is an amazing woman, a philosopher in her own right. She is involved in the human potential movement, but she helps people find their purpose and step forward in their life and really driving it home that pathway to what they their wishes and desires are. She's incredible. She's been featured on Oprah Winfrey's Soul, Super Soul Sunday, and everyone comes away feeling really inspired by Jean Houston. We also have Vishen Lakiani, who is the owner of Mind Valley. She, he is another brilliant mind thought leader, and he will be teaching a six phase meditation. And he says that he will bring more happiness into your life with these meditations. We also have Dawson Church, and he is an award-winning author who links emotions to genetics. He will teach you the neuroscience behind what he calls the bliss brain and how to achieve peak mental states. We also have Lee Harris. He is a channeler and a global acclaimed intuitive. He is a teacher who is going to teach you how to connect with your own soul and build your own intuition. And I think that is something that a lot of people are searching for these days, realizing that we are opening up in so many ways these days. And he is a great guide to teach you that. And we also have Madison King, who is internationally recognized as an Eden Energy Medicine practitioner, but she also heads up our school in England. She is an amazing teacher, and she will teach you how to align your energies for prosperity and abundance. We have Marcella Lobos, who is a beautiful woman, a shaman, and she works in connecting to the divine feminine and all about goddess energy. So she will teach you 13 steps on the journey to the archetypal quest of becoming a hero or heroine. She will also offer an empowerment ceremony to be a creator of your own destiny. We have Junya Chu. She has a background in Touch for Health natural medicine and Eden energy medicine. She will teach you how to stress, how to relieve stress and disharmony in the body and how to achieve rapid relief to overcome mental and physical suffering. We have also Stephen Washington and he will guide you on a Qigong journey and teach you how to strengthen the fundamental energies that fuel your life. So within this weekend, you don't wanna miss it, September 11th, 12th, 13th, coming up this next week and we are going to celebrate with music and dance we are going to evolve our minds our bodies our spirits and we are going to really heal some of our relationships oh i forgot one of the most important people we have my mom donna eden <laughs> she'll be there too she it's not in my notes sorry <laughs> She is going to be teaching all about the vagus nerve and how the vagus nerve really connects into all aspects of your emotions, your stress levels, your hormones. It works with everything. Her, her, her class is going to be incredible. And something that we really need to learn about is the vagus nerve because I think that it, is, it needs to evolve as well. And sometimes it is stuck 
in the old times where we are stuck in the place of fight, flight, or freeze, which we are sometimes in the, today's day and age because there are a lot of challenges coming our way. So we have Donna Eden too, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so please join us. And remember, it's, it's half the price of what you will pay. As Karen was saying, this was a conference that was online. It was called Energy Fest. And because of our circumstances, we couldn't let it happen. And so we brought it here online. Yeah, it's online. It was live. It's online now. <laughs> so that's the weekend. And I hope you will join us. And you are going to have an amazing time. I want to bring it back to Karen to say goodbye with Karen. Thank you so much for enriching us with your beautiful song. <laughs> Thank you. You know, it's just, and, and I'm hoping that we can, uh, we can somehow, when I'm doing my concert, we can have you dancing some of the, some of these songs. Cause that's when you watch her move to my songs, it's way fun. Makes it that much more fun. It makes it fun for me too. So thank you. I hope so too. I hope we can make the technology work. It will. It'll be fun. <laughs> All right. So thank you everybody for joining us and have a beautiful, blessed day.